two-minute EM approach to history taking. History taking in the ED can be daunting but rewarding. You have to balance all the noise and time pressure with that golden 10 minutes between you and your patient in order to hear their story. I was taught that about 80% of diagnoses are made from the history alone, so it's really important to get it right. Number one, start with a blank canvas. Try and avoid going through your patient's past medical history before you see them, as this may cognitively bias you and lead to a diagnosis before you've even started. Why not just look at the OBS and the triage note and then see the patient? Number two, respect the power of the patient's opening statement. Listen to your patient, they are telling you the diagnosis. This is a famous quote from William Osler, a 19th century physician. Listen to your patient's opening statement until there is a natural pause, usually about a minute or so. You'll be surprised at how much time this saves later on for when you're formulating your diagnosis. Number three, have a system. In the ED, you want to take a structured and super focused history. You want the relevant positives, but also the relevant negatives. Know your cardinal symptoms for each body system. We talk about pain a lot in the ED, so know how to get a good pain history. Socrates is a good starting acronym. Number four, ice your patient. I was taught at med school to ice my patient, ideas, concerns, and expectations. What did they think is going on? Do they have any specific concerns? And for example, were they expecting to get a CT scan today for their headache? I think that icing your patient makes them feel valued and listened to, which is always good. Number five, practice presenting. Presenting a history is as important as taking a history. Try and deliver your information in snappy, bite-sized chunks. Keep the listener interested and try and commit to a diagnosis and subsequent plan. Why not practice your presentation before handover on your next shift? Thanks for listening. Further information is available in the notes section.